Hello and welcome to our last round of modder for the week. We have Joey Schlunger playing Eldrazi, Ta yeah, Eldrazi Tron versus Ryan Glacken on ha Orzov Hammer Time. Ryan's gonna go first, leading with the planes into an Esper Sentinel and playing a Mem Knight. Both these decks are pretty cool. Tron Eldrazi Tron is something that like has kind of fallen off a little bit. I feel like after Modern Horizons two, and I don't I don't know what it what it is. Maybe it's just people are expecting Chalice now, and like decks aren't just dying to Chalice on the spot. But I'm not sure. What do we got? I'm gonna shock in a godless shrine. I'm gonna go to 20 to 18. As per the usual, this is one of our rounds from our weekly modern tournament that we hold at Alter Universe Bluebell every Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern. And then, if you want to watch us do these live, we stream it as well. That's where the content comes from. Uh, so, the Guardians, yeah, so Guardians Aid is gonna come down. Joey's going to dismember the Esper Sentinel. Not able to pay the one, so Lacken's going to get the draw card. And then it's going to 16. Now, ooh, do we have an artifact or an equipment? We do have a Colossus Hammer. All right, he's going to put the Colossus Hammer onto the Mem Knight, attacking for 11, and Joey's going to go to 5. Hammer is just one of those decks, man, that, like, it can just kill you so quickly. Its clock is so fast. That's coming from me, who plays Titan. There's a Matter Reshaper. Alright, untap. Draw for turn. Cool. Has a Urza's Saga. Alright, plays out a Stoneforge Mystic. He's probably just gonna go get Shadow Spear here, right? Shadow Spear puts it big enough above Matter Reshaper where the Trample should kill him. But 12 damage, there's no way Matter Reshaper's <laughs> toughness is bigger than 7. At the very least, Glacken will then go from 18 to 30 health. Alright, and we're gonna scoop it up. Yep, that's game 1 going pretty quickly. I think Hammer is just favored super well against any of the Tron variants right now. <laughs> if Tron can survive long enough to get, like, Karn the Great Creator on the board, it should be okay. But I'm not too sure. Alright, we're in game two. Joey's gonna lead on Eldrazi Temple. Seal Courtyard is our first land for turn. Double Mem Knight into an Ornithopter. Just like Affinity, this deck you can just do random things. Like, he has four permanents on the board, turn one. Alright, there's a Sketch Urza Saga with a Chalice on one. Now the cool thing is, like, Chalice on 1 is good, right? Because it stops the Garda's Aid, and it stops you from just hard casting stuff like Shadow Spear and Colossus Hammer. But it does not stop Stoneforge Mystic putting stuff into play, or Urza Saga putting things into play. So if the Stoneforge can stay around for a turn, and Glacken has, like, Pure Steel Paladin, or something to reduce the equip cost, he should be okay. I'm gonna attack him for two. The interesting is that Joey doesn't have any Tron lands in play yet. Drowsy Temple number two. Chalice, for zero. chalice on zero. Cool. So Chalice on one and a Chalice on zero. Joey does not want Ryan doing anything right now. Alright, I'm gonna put an ink 
Moff Nexus into play here. Pure Skill Paladin would be quite good if that's what he has. That's the pure steel. In response, I'll make a construct. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a construct and then go into the deck and find an artifact. Wouldn't be surprised to see him just call Pithing Needle here, or grab Pithing Needle and call Stone Forge Mystic. Yep. Sure. I don't know what other one mana targets Eldrazi Tron's really playing, except for like Expedition Map. Maybe they're playing Shadow Sphere themselves. It's going to attack in for five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So land return. Here's our first Tron land. There's right, a cycle on one. Cranial plating he just cast, if I saw it right from his hand. And then it's going to animate the Ink Moth Nexus, equip it, and attack in. Yeah, it's a Cranial Plating. It's going to get in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead. Oh, I might be more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it should be six. I'm currently like at this time trying to figure out like an infect counter. I have to build one. All right, plays out another Tron land. Goes into a Reality Smasher. Attacks in for fifteen. I'm going to chop a construct, take 10. Good. Good. <laughs> I, say, I think we just do the same thing here. Are we attack? Yep. And it's going to be game. Ryan's going to pick it up 2-0 with a hammer time over Eldrazi Tron. Thanks for watching, folks. Stay tuned for more modern content. And if you'd like to either come out and play December 18th, we're hosting a special 1K tournament as a end of the year. Thank you for all the players who are doing a big tournament. And then uh, we're going to be streaming it live on, Ultra, or at, on Twitch at Ultra Universes Live and among other things. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to cut to another graphic in just like five seconds if it'll pop up in time. There it is, uh, with all of our social media pages. So if you feel like following us on any of the other ones besides YouTube, because you're already here. But yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Goodbye.